Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about normal distributions and specifically how to test a normal distribution for normality in a statistically uh, sophisticated way, relatively sophisticated. Uh, so instead of just looking at the distribution for no, uh, non-normality, which is something you can you can do, and I, I fully encourage it if you know what you're doing, uh, another way is to do so statistically. Now that also has some drawbacks, and I'll talk about that uh, in a minute. I've got two uh, variables here. One that I I'm pretty sure is normal because I generated it with a program uh, that simulates data according to speci uh, specific parameters and I specified normal data, normally distributed data. And then I have another uh, variable here which I know to be non-normal. Uh, and I'm going to test both uh, using the um, SPSS utility to do so. Uh, and we can see the difference in the results. Uh, so to, to examine, uh, to test a normal distribution uh, statistically and visually, uh, you're going to analyze descriptive statistics, uh, and you're going to explore. All right, click on explore. And I've already got the variable in there, so I'm going to actually click on both to get uh, both of them out with the results, uh, and then click on plots. And you have to make sure that this normality plots with tests is checked. That's the main uh, test. Now you can also click on the histogram here to look at it visually from a histogram. Uh, but the main uh, results are going to be normality plots with tests. All right, and it's going to give us two tests, in fact. And then click OK. All right, so uh, what we've got here are uh, some basic results about uh, sample size. And it's saying that some data are missing. It's just because uh, one variable has more, more values than another. But we get the end size of 474 um, and 1,000, I think, are the two uh, sample sizes for both, uh, for both variables. Uh, it's saying it's 1,000, but it's actually not. It's uh, 474 for, for one of them. Anyway, that's not very important. Uh, I kind of like this feature, to be honest, uh, in this utility. If you otherwise have to go through the frequency distribution. And oftentimes, if you have large sample sizes, uh, the table is enormous, and you have to scroll through it. Here, it just gives us the top five and, and lower five. Really, this is for testing outliers, but I'll just point that out now. I'm going to make another, another video about outlier evaluations. Here's the main uh, statistical tests for testing um, normality. And we can see that the normal distribution, the normal variable, uh, there are two, uh, two statistics associated with it called the uh, Kolmogorov Smirnov test, or just the KS test, and the Shapiro Wilk test. And they give us different results, in fact. The normal distribution, uh, for the normal distribution, the KS test is telling us that it's statistically significant different from a normal distribution. That's what the significant value is. It's less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis of a normal distribution. And we conclude that there's probably a non-normal distribution. But when you look at the Shapiro-Wilk test, which is a, a different test to uh, testing normality, it's telling us it's not quite statistically significant. It's 0 0.08. Um, I've read references, and there's research showing that the uh, Kolmogorov-Smirnov test uh, is totally invalid and should be only considered a historical curiosity. And uh, I would agree because I know that this, these data are these data should be considered normally distributed. Shapiro-Wilk is telling us that it is. Um, Although it's getting close to, to statistically significant, too. And that's a problem with any test that you use. Um, there is another test out there that I'll, I'll make a separate video on. You can't do it in SPSS uh, through the menu-driven approach. It's called the uh, D'Agostino uh, test for normality. And I'm going to try that on this sample just to see how much of a difference we get in the results. Uh, so the main point here is do not use the Kolmogorov-Smirnov test. It's not a valid test. When we look at the non-normal uh, variable, both are telling us that it's uh, that we should reject the null hy hypothesis of normality, and um, that should be the case because this variable is very non-normal. We'll look at the histogram in a second. This is the histogram for the normally uh, distributed data that was created with a program to be normally distributed. And you can see it's a nice normal distribution. It's not perfect, uh, 